Hey guys, it's Mike here and today we're going to be looking at what is the best Poseidon loadout for God of War Ascension multiplayer. So we're going to start with weapons and personally I prefer the swords and I think the sword you're going to want for Poseidon is the Blade of Athena because it helps you regenerate your health which goes hand in hand with Poseidon's defense capabilities. You could also use the Blade of Poseidon which has some really cool attacks, it is pretty good. And also the Sword of Poseidon which is also pretty good. If you like using hammers, you're probably going to want to use the Warhammer of Poseidon, it's the one I prefer, although the Maul of Poseidon is also pretty good. So if you're going to want to use a spear, the one you're going to want is the Spear of Poseidon, you could also use the Lance of Poseidon, but personally I think the Spear of Poseidon has much much better attacks. It's actually got the same L1 square attack as the Spear of Destiny, which as you know is an awesome spear. Next we're going to be looking at armor and you're going to want the same lower and upper armor as I showed you in the Zeus episode. You're going to want manticore armor as your lower armor and that gives you plus 16 physical resistance. And you're also going to want the armor of Artemis for your upper armor which gives you plus 15 physical power. So where you can actually change this up is with the helmet and what I like to use is the griffin armor because it gives you really good cooldown reduction. If you want more physical power, you could go with the armor of Artemis. And again, if you want more physical resistance, go for the Manticore armor. So next up, we're going to be looking at abilities, and we're going to start with Relic. The one I like to use is the Relic of Frost. And what it does is actually increases your physical resistance every time you get a kill. So that's really, really useful. You could use the new ones, Relic of Resilience and Relic of Excess. But personally, like I said, I really like the Relic of Frost. I think it really helps you out once you're on a streak. It's really hard to kill you. Next we're going to be looking at items and the one I really like is the Cloak of Boreas. What it does is basically make you invincible for a certain amount of time which is really good because you can stay in the fight whilst remaining invincible. You could also use the Breath of Amphitrite which is the new ultimate one. Personally, like I said, I really think the Cloak of Boreas is the best one. So lastly, we're going to be looking at what is the best magic to use. Personally, I really like Poseidon's Crest because I think if you're using any god allegiance other than Zeus, you should only have magic with a cost of 50 because it means you're going to get it the most amount of times in a match. You could use Obliteration, which I've seen a friend use and it actually freezes your opponents, which is really handy, especially in Trial of the Gods if you're trying to kill a troll. But like I said, I think Poseidon's Crest is the best all-round one to go for. So I hope this video has helped you out and the next one I'll be doing will be on Ares so check for that tomorrow and again I just want to know what you guys like to do differently when you're playing with Poseidon. So now I'm going to show you some gameplay actually using this class. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next video. Yeah. Begin. Good. I have you. Seeker!
The gods have intervened. Brutal. One thousand favor to go. The gods have chosen. Five hundred favor to go. One hundred favor to go. Influence grows throughout Greece. <laughs> 